This is Florida, guys. If you don't make your payments, they're going to come for their stuff, and I guarantee you they will. This is kind of the street view. Bro, I think this is my trailer. This Tundra's got some guts on it. He's like the only prepared guy out here. He's got no PSI in the tires. Pulled out this big F-250 that was buried. What's up you guys, Andre here with Jack of All Trades. We are currently on our way to Florida right now. We are about four hours in. We just stopped at Starbucks, got some coffee. We had lunch at Zaxby's and uh, I got my wife with me. She is enjoying this trip a lot more, right? Oh yes. She was hating the other trip. She was like all red, sweating. I mean, I was sweating too, but man, it, it sucked last time. I had the windows down and it was still hot because no matter how fast you're going, if it's hot out there, you're gonna be getting all that heat no matter what. So this truck is definitely nice with AC. The trip is going by super smooth. I mean, the truck's having no issues. We put almost 300 miles on it so far since I got it. It's been very reliable. The def is still at full, let me show you guys. So I'm confused. Is this truck like uh, not eating def or is the gauge broken? I'm new to def, so I don't know. Maybe it burns slowly. I was thinking it burns much faster. It's got 291 miles on it right now and we got it with 17 miles yesterday. So we put over 250 miles so far today. So yeah, it's gonna get some miles this weekend, but man, it is so smooth. It's, it's nice. I can't even believe how smooth it is. It doesn't even feel like I'm in a truck because one time I looked down on the speedometer and I'm going way over. So I'm like, uh oh, had to slow down because you definitely don't want to get a ticket that would make this trip a bad trip. But let me show you guys the palm trees over here. We're still in Georgia. If you guys, I love palm trees. I'm actually wearing palm trees going on vacation. <laughs> But the palm trees in Georgia are sad, man. I would like to have a palm tree at my house, but nah, they're just, they just look sad. I've seen so many in Georgia and they're all like depressed looking. I'll show you guys what they look like in Florida compared to Georgia. I'll show you guys right now because we're kind of near Savannah and they look much better than where we live near uh, the Lake Lanier area, but it's still looking pretty sad out here if it's still Georgia. So far, we definitely killed some bugs. We'll see how many we end up killing by the time we get back home. This is the truck for those of you guys that haven't seen the last video, go watch it and you'll know the story on why I bought it, why I'm going to Florida right now. Florida welcomes you. Check out these palm trees. Right when you said look at these palm trees, I moved my phone towards you and there were so many palm trees behind you. It was, Jesus. And then I turned the camera back so they can have a closer shot. Man, this truck is just so powerful, but man, I love these palm trees. So beautiful, literally everywhere. Loki, wish I lived in Florida. This is just magical, magical. I want to cry. I'm so happy seeing these palm trees. Look, every single corner, palm trees. Only in Florida, baby. Only in Florida. And then look, show them the front. Like, check this out. Everything's green. Yeah, it's pretty swampy. I'm not gonna lie, but it's beautiful. So we were driving to Amelia Island because that's where the beach is where you can drive with your truck. There's probably more places, but that's the only one I know right now. And we're headed over there. And uh, as we were driving uh, with the GPS on, it said, you're in Uly, Florida. I'm like, bro, what the heck? We're in Uly. Let's see how far the dealer location is. And it said five minutes. So we just drove right here. I'll show you guys like a little sneak peek because I'm not going to make this video too long about the trailer. That's going to be another video. This one I just kind of want to show you guys some, some sneak peeks and a little bit of Florida for the people that are not local and uh, what you can do when you come buy a dump trailer from them. That's where their office is and they hold trailers up here. Look at this. This is some grapple trailers. I don't think it doesn't have a grapple on it yet, but it's pretty much set up. Maybe they'll install one on it. All the colors you want. That green right there is so nice. I love the bright colors, but my worry is that they're going to fade. I don't know, but I, I prefer the darker colors to stay a little more low key. They block them in with their trucks. Pretty smart that way. I mean, you got to move the truck to steal a trailer. Check this out though, man. Heck of gray trailers right there. That's what I want. I want only that color. <laughs> but yeah, I see a roll off right there set up. Pretty cool. It's got two cans on it. They even have pink orange all the colors you want 
Let me see if I can show you guys. I think that gray trailer right there is mine. I'm not sure though because I didn't see a picture of it, but if that's my trailer, oh my goodness, that thing is beautiful. This is kind of the street view. Bro, I think this is my trailer. I ordered it with three foot walls and they have the extender so I can add like a two by 12s or whatever. It looks clean. I didn't know that they would add the things for the back too. I just thought they would put them on the front, but yeah, it has them. Heavy duty tires. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's mine. I'm not sure though. Doesn't have ramps yet. But that's where they uh, weld all their trailers and stuff like that. I'm assuming that's kind of what I understood when Mark told me that they uh, build them across the street and then they just kind of tow them over here. I didn't pay attention to this side right here last time, but there is a few trailers with like random companies logos and stuff. So I'm pretty sure they're repo trailers. This is Florida guys. If you don't make your payments, they're going to come for their stuff and I guarantee you they will. Depends who you finance it through, but yeah, I mean, who who won't, you know? You give an expensive trailer out and they don't make the payment, you're gonna go get it. They got a bunch of black trailers. I didn't want black. I like black, but I didn't want one because all the companies literally have the black color. And uh, I wanted to kind of separate myself a little bit, and that's why I went with gray. That's why a lot of people go with red, orange, blue, green, like bright colors, because, you know, it's, it separates you, but like I said earlier, I'm afraid it's gonna fade. And I don't wanna be too flashy too. I kinda wanna stay low key, but not too low key with black. This is a nice truck right here. Ram 3500 Dually, shop truck I bet. And then they have a roll off right there with the bumper pool too. And that's a gooseneck back there. Sorry, when I get too close it gets blurry, but when they open I'll show you guys a better view of the trailers. But. I'm just gonna head out to the beach now. So we're driving to the beach right now. We're like 10 minutes away, but check out this view. It's like magical driving through here. beach right here I guess this guy got stuck this place is packed compared to the last time we came there was like no cars here there was a red f-150 that was stuck some other guy was trying to pull him out with the f-250 like a bunch of people are coming over here with rear-wheel drive trucks and they can't handle sand I'm looping around right now maybe I'll show you guys something that's on the other side just didn't want to cause any traffic I think this guy broke down maybe not sure we got this 250 either pulling it or just backing up not sure nope not pulling it he's probably gonna reverse and put the hitch over there let's see if this f-250 can pull it out I hope the guy's not in park oh he's struggling He's getting it. Some Duramax is coming out. Pretty cool. I guess they were fishing. It's probably a whole crew over here. But I guess that red truck is 4x4, four four, guys. I guess the tires are too small on it. Another 250 got stuck. <laughs> no, the guy that just pulled them out got stuck. Sweetie, why are you laughing? This is not funny. I don't want to, oh boy, come on, man. Because everyone was trying to get out in the red truck. I feel, the I feel road. bad. The, that guy pulls the red truck out and now he blocked. Now two F-250s <laughs> are stuck. F-150 coming to the rescue. <laughs> uh, I would pull him out with the comments, but I don't really want to because the truck's not even broken into. I don't want to beat on it. That guy's trying to have fun. Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't even recording you guys. That guy's hopped out with a smile on his face. He's like, this is my moment to shine. All right, let's see if the Cummins is gonna get stuck. Nope, not so far. Man, so 
so many tracks. Pushing through, not bad. Oh, look, this guy's ripping it. Just get out of his way. Man, this is bad this time. Last time it was so clean. Put my seatbelt on. But now there's just like tracks everywhere. People are just absolutely shredding through here. Cummins is doing it. Um, I might need to go in four low though. Oh, that guy's got a Jeep absolutely shredding. <laughs> this is crazy. Ooh. Oh, come on, buddy. Another guy got stuck. So I made the executive decision. I am getting out of here because this is just way too sketchy. The truck is bouncing like crazy because of all these tracks everywhere. Everyone's getting stuck and uh, I don't have anything. I don't even have a tow hitch on this truck. I forgot mine at home. So I have to buy one before Monday. And uh, yeah, this is a bad deal. But Cummins is not getting stuck today, baby. I'm telling you that. We are getting out of here. This is, but it's sketchy. It was just getting worse and worse back there. So I just decided to turn around. Look, this Ford's getting stuck again. It's a rand another Ford. Everyone's literally getting stuck. It's a bad day. If I had my 7.3, I would be ripping through here right now with 35s. But yeah, this has got 33s. Nah, not a good idea. Plus, it's not even broken into yet, so I don't want to gun it. Oh, are we going to get stuck at the front? Look at it. Du -du 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 -du. Just jumping everywhere. Guys, watch out. I do not want to stop in this because then I will get stuck. <laughs> Their wagon they are is not stuck. Moving. Come on, fam. Sweetie, they're stuck too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it's too sketchy to stop, man, because if you stop, you're just gonna start sinking. Yeah, that was uh, not what I expected. This was definitely not the experience I had last time. Swap it back into two wheel drive. I'm over here. I mean, my Cummins were straight up ripping through this stuff. They didn't even have like full thread tires. Uh, my Ford did absolutely insane last time because it has 35s, I had full thread. This Dodge did good too, but it's the sand is not the same, guys. It is a total mess right now over there, and I don't know, it's, it's sketchy. You're definitely putting, put, putting a lot of wear on your truck hauling through that sand right now. It's fine if your truck is broken in, but this truck isn't, so I don't want to abuse it if I don't have to. And uh, I felt like if I stayed in that sand longer, I would have to start abusing this truck to get out. So I just like said, ah, oh, that's all right. I'm just gonna hop out. Did good though, did good. We got a brand new Bronco stuck. The sand is awesome though. This beach is absolutely beautiful. Cleanest sand ever. Oh, that water's cold. There's like almost no rocks. Actually, there's none. <laughs> Just shells. This Tundra's got some guts on it. He's like the only prepared guy out here. He's got no PSI in the tires. Pulled out this big F-250 that was buried. Another F-250 getting buried. That Tundra's a beast though. <laughs> this is brutal, man. This guy is too nice. He's like, I'm gonna just pick a few people because he can't be here all day pulling people out because this truck won't be worth anything by the end of the day. So he's gonna continue pulling some people out and get out of here. He said, I'm done. Can't make this up. This guy is just chilling. He said, I'm gonna put it in two wheel drive and show everyone how it's done. He's got eight PSI in the tires. He can't hook his rope anywhere on this Bronco. I 
I had to ask him if he cuts trees for a living because he knows his knots. See how he does. Oh no. Hopefully he didn't get stuck. Nope, perfect. He told him one thing, don't run my rope over. <laughs> so he was a bit mad, but I mean, he can't really see. It's hooked to the control arm, but it's getting it out. That is impressive. That thing is beast. You call, I haul. This guy's advertising on the beach. We just arrived at the hotel. We're gonna go check in, but check out this law army right here. If you're a local, I bet you know where we are right now. We just got some pizza for tonight. So beautiful out. Windy right now, chilly, honestly. But that's Florida. Super hot in the day, chilly at night. Love it. Oh yes, check that out, guys. This is about to be a fire meal. But I'm going to cut this video right here, guys, because the next video is gonna be me actually going to the top shelf dealership, showing you guys around, picking up my dump trailer. And if I add it all into this video, it's just gonna be too long and you know bore some of you guys. So I'm just gonna cut it right here and make a whole separate video on picking it up. But if you guys enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.